So FlowSource was really all about bringing designers, full stack engineers, and SDETs who are testers in a way that they could use LLMs as well as code companions and vibe coding tools and significantly have productivity in writing code. And we also did it in such a way that we had a knowledge repository of documents available for them, um, you know, stylized to exactly how your organization writes these documents. This was a step change in 2024, and that's where I think about 25% of the work was being written by the machine. But then the next change happened this year, which is on the next slide, which is now using neuro AI engineering. We've got a variety of different agents who are all working with these personas. So if you take the person on the left, the business analyst, he now works with a story agent and a validator agent. So it's really a team of three uh, because you know, those agents are able to autonomously do things that couldn't be done before. Um, once again, uh, we talked about uh, understanding the context and FlowSource provides the, this particular organization's context to, to that particular team. So I'm gonna pause here and I'm gonna hand it over to Mike, who's going to show you an example of how we've embedded these agents and how it works and how it significantly cuts down cycle time. Great, thanks Prasad. So this is a live demo, so it's always a bit um, <laughs> bit of a high wire act, but ho hopefully every everything will go good. So um, what I'm gonna show uh, in this demo scenario today is, um, is something that I actually did uh, in, in, in real life a, f a few years back. So it's something I've experienced pre-AI. I've seen the first generation of tooling to do this and, and then now how that's changed with Agentic. So, what we're going to do here is I'm going to be in the role of a business analyst and I'm going to, um, my, my job in this context is to take some analysis of a mainframe COBOL program and turn that into user stories or requirements that a development team can pick up and actually do implementation. So um, before this process that I'm going to demo started, effectively we've run different types of agents that look at COBOL code and turn that into a specification. But whenever you do that machine translation, um, you know, you, you get something that looks like, if I just flip here, I can show you. It tells you what it does, but it's not easy to understand. I, get, I, I think in the document there's 24 pages of basically these tables of just like it does this and then it does that. When I did this in real life, I think it was about, God, this is gonna make me feel old now, I think it was 20 years ago. <laughs> Um, what we had to do is we, we printed all of the source code out. So we, we, we had like 200 pages of, of text and we stuck it across, and it took a big conference rule, and stuck it across, across a, a whole room and we were like highlighting things with, with code and it's really difficult to understand. So not just is this a lot of work to do, but it's also very error prone. It's hard for a human to just hold in their head that amount of information. And, and with the first generation of code companions, it was easier to do that, but, but, but mostly they were limited to fairly specific context. So you could take one file and look at one file, but you couldn't really understand how that file over there relates to this, this file somewhere else. So what, what agents can now do, and the way we do this process to, today, is that we can go through many, many files uh, in, in bulk, and we can consolidate those together. So we can really um, make it uh, something that overcomes that limitation of like a human can't really grasp all of that stuff. So if I uh, switch back to here, so here I am in flow source and I've got that extracted document and what, what we have in flow source is effectively we're integrated into all of the tools. So I'm integrated into Jira, which is what I'm the tool that I use to manage my requirements. And, and obviously the advantage of that is, uh, all of the agents know what's happening inside of JIRA and uh, they know what requirements I have today and, and they can push those requirements back into the system and record them. So I can, I can do a lot more automation with the process. So I'm just gonna upload this document. And so, so what's happening here now is, is, is kind of as, as Prasad showed on, on the slide, We've got a multi-agent system here. It's not a very complex one like the one Babak showed with 
50 agents. We, we just have two agents. We've got one that creates user stories, and then we've got one that validates user stories. So they, they've got different capabilities. The, the creation user story knows what I have. It understands all my knowledge context. And the validation one is configured to my company's rules about what is a good requirement uh, and how to, how to uh, check whether the requirements are right. So, so what you can see on the screen, I guess, is the backwards and forwards now of um, the agent will create stories when they're done. It will send them to the review agent to check if they're OK. The review agent sends feedback and says, these are things that you, you need to change. It will go and do a different uh, you know, second pass and uh, try to uh, make those better. So for demo purposes here, I guess we're showing this animated so you can, you can see everything. Um, obviously, in the real world, this can happen completely in the background. It can be fully automated. And you can have as much human in the loop as you want to have at the right time. So, so we, we do it differently for different clients. Sometimes you can just create everything and have a human review the outputs. Sometimes you can have a lot more interactivity and the human can kind of feedback and uh, converse with the agent. So I think it's going now and just doing a, a final check on these. So, so it's finished now. And um, what, what, what I can do at this point is I can, I can manually review this and make any edits if I want to. Or I can just, I can just click the button down here. And, and this will then push the uh, requirements back, in, back into JIRA. So that stays in my system of record. I've got control. I can do version management. I can see the audit log of everything the agent said in JIRA and so on. So it's, it's, it's all kind of fully managed data. And um, what I would typically do next at that point is I, I could have more agents that are listening for, oh, hey, this is a new user story that's being created. That we might pick up from a testing perspective next. So we might say, let's look at the risks around this story. Let's think about how we would test them, how we would um, create data for those tests, all of that kind of stuff. And, and so the way that we I knew it was going to, I'm timing out on my virtual machine. Let me uh, see if I can log in again. So what Mike was trying to show there is the agent marketplace. So what we've done is we've created a whole bunch of different agents that can be used as part of the software development lifecycle. It's available right on, yeah, there it is, yep. neuro IT, um, you know, neuro AI engineering, and you can pull in whatever you, yep. you want and reuse it. Uh, and all of this works, you know, obviously seamlessly with the things that Naveen is, is, is building. So we're able to take those specific use cases and then actually build it out using our platform. Yeah, so if we kind of summarize then, so, so effectively what, what we can do with, with these agents is we can take tasks that are at the limit of human mental capacity and might take weeks to perform. And we can bring that down into, you know, minutes, um, but also do them much more effectively and much more reliably. So, so if you think about that, the, the throughput that development teams can have is much, much higher, but also time to market is faster and product quality is better. And this is kind of what we're seeing is it's not just a case of being able to lower your costs. It's actually, it's actually being able to be, be more ambitious and do, do more and be more effective.